Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some data mines or like the predicted schedule event timeline kind of thing. There were new data mines that extended all the way through to like, I think June, July. And so what I've done is I've actually just like visualized it here and I just wanted to give my thoughts around it. Without further ado, I guess let's just get into it. All right, so today we are here. Today it's the 14th, well for me anyway, but we're only two days out from the Hatsune's event and Arisa's banner. You can see that Hatsune's event actually lasts like quite a fair long while. It's like, I think it's like about like 15 days or so. And Arisa's banner actually lasts like almost just as long and if we go down we have a look at the next few events like it's actually like a, a common reoccurrence right like the Kyoko banners like that the Ilya banners like that as well so whilst we are actually going pretty fast it's um it's not like we're, go we're not going at like lightning speed right I mean we kind of are because like you could argue that there are three banners that are occurring in a month like that's honestly a little bit fast but it's more like we're getting kind of like five banners every two months which is like two and a half banners every month but yeah let's come back to the start over here so we've got the normal stage drop going on and we're gonna have sorry guys I actually like realized there was a gap here there's actually going to be a 2x dungeon mana like event going on so i just added back in hopefully that was okay so again we have a 2x normal stage drop which we are almost finishing up and then we're going to go directly into the 2x dungeon mana so there's actually a lot of events like going back to back and a lot of overlap to be honest by now you guys know that rin's banner actually also features makoto and maho and we're going to get a couple of more of those as well we're going to be getting the ayane banner with saren featured as the three star and then we're going to get Miss Sato with hatsune and then sumigi with nozomi i think this actually happens one more time after the summer banners but we'll see what happens then again all of this is based on the available data mines like right now and like crunchyroll could change anything anytime so with the 2x dungeon mana i hope you guys saw the comment on my last video but it's essentially saying like you guys should on the 15th or 16th or like one day before go into the dungeon and then finish one stage for the daily but don't finish the rest what happens then is that when the day rolls over and the 2x dungeon mana starts you can actually just like you know finish the rest of the dungeon and then you still have that extra attempt and then you can go back in and then you can actually reap the 2x dungeon and extra day if that's not clear please let me know but i'm, I'm pretty sure that's like that it, it kind of makes sense right like you've used up the attempt you're saving the stages but you're going to get a new attempt when the day rolls over and then when that day rolls over you're also going to be having like 2x dungeon mana and then so you can finish all those stages from like 2 to 10 and then you can reuse the new attempt to go from 1 to 10 again okay let's move on so that's just the dungeon mana and we've got the arisa banner so again like don't roll for her i know some people have been saying like you know the clan with the most arisas or whatever like that they, they they will be the ones to win clan battle which is true it's 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 true right but there's just too many high priority targets after that especially for like low spenders or free to players like arisa is probably one of the ones that are on the bottom of the list actually looking at the rest of these banners i think she is like actually rock bottom on the list so we've got the 2x grotto drops pretty straightforward we've had that before and then we've got the 2x hard mode drops so that is double shards baby so mm. If there is any time to refresh, it is then. We've then got the Ayana banner with the Saren, and I, I think this is a pure skip. For example, Ayana is a two star, Saren is a normal drop, like, and Saren is just not like, she's not crucial to any content, like, like right now, but she's like, she's quite good. Halfway through that, we're gonna be getting Clan Battle 2, which is great. However, what you guys are gonna notice is that it actually started a little bit earlier than the last time. So it went from the 10th to the 7th, and this is actually gonna be a reoccurring theme because typically Clan Battles are held every month. However, like, Clan Battles in our release i think is actually going to be like squeezed together it's more like clan battles are going to be held like every 20 days and this one's actually kind of looking like 15 or something it's it's a little bit squished so <laughs> halfway through clan battle we're going to be having a little lyrical adventures so that's where you can farm i think um soggy and mimi same kind of event as like the hatsune event it's like you know you go in you farm the shards and then you kind of do the boss progression actually i think it's the same event type like every time so everything you know from the hatsune event you can pretty much use for the for every event actually going forward here we've got the kyoka banner kyoka is a really good single target magical DPS. If I were to compare her against Arisa, I would definitely say Kyoka is more worth it. But even then, oh boy, like, you know, we've got Ilya coming up. I mean, if you don't care about like PvP, you could skip Ilya to be honest. And then we got like Summer Kiaru coming up there. But yeah, to come back over here, we got the 2x dungeon mana, remember the trick guys. And then we've got 2x grotto, same, same. Nothing really, nothing really changed. And then we've got Misato plus Hatsune banner in which we'll actually be getting daily free temples. In the original servers, I think they got like 10 10 pulls like uh, for a total of 100 i think we might get 90 if we're lucky like this crossover kind of period like so like i think maybe like 80 from here and then like 10 from there and this is probably one of the places where i should say like you know what does this mean right because it's a hatsune banner i know a lot of people are farming for hatsune like through the princess arena coins and actually i am too if you're not really like, really desperate to climb pvp you could actually consider like holding those hatsune shards for this temple and you could potentially get her and then like instantly like four star her or five star her even 
after Hatsune's event, you're probably going to have like over 100 shards. And then if you've been like getting her via like PA, you'll probably actually be able to uh, maybe even five star her to be honest. But yeah, the alternative to, is to actually like act activate her first and then like you get like memory fragments or divine amulets from it. At this point, it's a matter of choice. Do you want a stronger Hatsune or do you want the divine frags to save for maybe like summer Kiaru down the line? Honestly, right now, I'm still not really sure. You know, I was going to actually just get the Hatsune straight away just so I could start using her because I'm, I'm struggling a little bit in the arena. But a lot of players that are actually thinking about the long term do value those 50 divine fragments more moving on we've got the next clan battle there and then we've also got like the 2x drops nothing much to say 2x hard mode more shards let's go and then we've got the 2x dungeon mana going on here as well and in parallel we're going to actually be getting Ilya's event vampire hunt with Ilya. Ilya is one of those units that you could possibly actually roll for even if you're not pvp centric she also has some like use and utility especially for cb only if you five star her just know that if you're going for Ilya, that there's going to be a very heavy cost investment to actually make her work aside from that halfway through that we'll be getting 2x grotto drops and then the tsumugi banner with nozomi on it again this banner is like probably the hardest skip that i've ever seen nozomi comes from dungeon coins as easy peasy and then you got tsumugi who's a two star in addition to that we have normal drops and then also the fourth clan battle and it actually looks like there's a trend going on here right like i think all clan battles like you know you've got like hard mode drops you got normal drops here you got whole normal drops here like i feel like they're kind of doing this on purpose but like i, I think you guys are seeing that there's a rotation all right like normal hard dungeon grotto normal Where's my heart? And it's at this point we get into May and we have the summer stuff coming out, which is great. So we start off with Summer Pekarin. She's quite a good uh, PvP unit. Like, you know, I, I think some people value her not quite as much, but almost as much as Ilya. But otherwise, like Summer Kiara is right around the corner. You guys, stay strong. But that's only if you want to CB or like you want to get ahead in PvE. In conjunction with that, we've also got like the 3x Grotto drops and we've got the 3x Dungeon Mana going on. <laughs> oh my god, 3x. That's... That is mint. Then we've got Summer Suzume, who's okay, and Summer Tamaki as well over here, but they're kind of niche. Like, they're good. Tamaki especially is quite good, but but especially for, like, free-to-players or low spenders, like, you're probably, out of these four banners, you're probably only going to be able to get one of them, and that's Summer Kiaru. Also, for Summer Tamaki, you actually do get, like, daily free temple as well, so that's the next one that's coming up. Uh, but do remember that like, these are kind of, like, in line with what Psy Games already did, so it's kind of, like, kind of, like, mandatory, to be honest. So hopping back, so we've got the first summer event, and then we've got the second summer event that's going to be featuring Summer Kiaru. Otherwise, in the drop events, we still have just the standard rotations. Getting over here, that kind of wraps it up. Like, we've got Summer Kiaru coming in. Well, this is May 23. And today is 1402. It's 14 of February. So that's about three months away for Summer Kiaru. To be honest, that's not a lot of time. Considering after Summer Kiaru, like, I know it's not data mined yet, but like, we kind of know what's coming next. We know that the prefez is coming next. Prefez usually occurs like, what, like on month six or month eight or whatever, like on month 12, stuff like that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I've already told talked about like most of these things a lot already the only real key things here are like you know you can kind of see that clan battle is like kind of getting squished up and like there's you know those intervals between them it's it's kind of it's you know it's yeah, I, get, I get a little bit nervous you know i get a little bit nervous when an event is going on it's cool that they also are like kind of extending those banners so if we go back uh, up the front as well we've got this and kyoko's banner is almost there we definitely do have the daily free temples from like here and over here which are in line with side games but you know what is blatantly missing from all of this it's the 1.5 times the XP events. And I think they're doing this because they want to encourage maybe like more refreshing. And refreshing is not a bad thing. I just kind of wish that they actually did weave in the 1.5 times the XP events. Like they've even got like the three times Grotto drops and the three times Dungeon Mana. Like, come on, man. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I've made this available in the Nerd Docs. You guys already know where it is. It's in the description below. I'll update this as time goes on. But like, again, thank you so much to the to the data miner. Like, I don't want to mention his name. I know in other games, like <laughs> Genshin, they don't treat kindly to like leakers and stuff. So I don't want to, I don't want to screw him over or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's kind of it. But okay, let's stop there. You guys can check it out yourselves. These days are as accurate as the data mines are. I'm going to wrap it up here. Let's get a secret message. Data mining for life. You guys can drop that secret message down in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. It tells me that you've gotten to the end of the video. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but like I feel good when you guys get to the end of the video. My hard work is appreciated. But yeah, aside from that, like, like, subscribe, comment. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.